Welcome to Xtreme Media's product presentation on multi-format player. I've prepared a workstation where multi-format player is installed. There are different ways how to load files into multi-format player. The most obvious one is to use the load file button. We can navigate to any location on the network. In our case, it's a NAS storage that we use as one source. So here are various different file formats. For example, we've got this 1080p MP4 file. Playback happens with the usual player controls, like play, we can jump frame by frame, we can use fast forward mo mode, or we can jump to the end of the file. Alternatively, we can navigate to a certain time code. So in my example, one second. We can play the file in the full screen mode. Sorry. We can also loop it. There are other ways how to load files into multi-format player. The most convenient one might be simply to drag and drop files. So let's make a different example. Let's take an MXF file that's a D10, 30 megabit. Or let's take a um, ProRes HD file. Or alternatively, another MP4 file, H264 encoded or a very old school AVI file with DV25 codec. By the way, you can use the scrubber bar to navigate within the file as well. It supports P2 structures to be played back. So Take that file. Now it plays a clip from a P2 video card. By the way, what we can see here on the right hand side that it dynamically adjusts the number of audio tracks. There is audio on 1 and 2, but also on 3 and 4. I can select what audio is played back or played out. Let's have a look for some more source formats that are supported. In addition, we will find DNX HD, in this case in MXF to be supported, or in MOF. We've got traditional T10, SD, or we've got Omnion file formats. In this case, it's a MOF with MPEG 2 in it. Playouts looks a bit strange because that is a 3D side by side, so it's not supposed to play back correctly. It plays old school 3G files. You might have seen this sample video before. Or Windows Media files. So multi format player really plays any file format that you can think about from the various past up to the presence. It's tested with all professional file formats and many, many file formats from um, the prosumer market. Let's have a look for some additional features. And so other way to load files, for example, is to use the clip playlist functionality. Again, I can browse for additional clips to be loaded in here. 
let's take an mp4 file <coughs> I can mix that with let's say in 1080p mxf file and this clips will now be played in a row as a playlist I can even export to editing XMLs especially for Apple Final Cut Pro. I've got a special example that I've got just recently. Let me see whether I can find it. So I think it was this file format that is silent. Okay. Let me try that stereo. What other features are available? We can play out to SDI devices. There's no SDI card installed in this computer, but once installed, we will have the selection box to select what SDI port the file is being played out to. We can select the file format standard that is used for the playout. So for example, we can simulate how a PAL playout would look like versus the playout as NTSC content versus the playout as it would like as an 1080 50p for example. We can switch the various interlacing mode. So multi-format player is a tool that is not only made for ingest playback, for review playback, for playout, but also for specialists to do troubleshooting. And one of the particular functionalities for troubleshooting is the compare video functionality. So you probably remember that we've got a video earlier in two different codecs but with identical content. This is this pair of files. Now let me load them in here, the MXF into the main player and into the secondary player. Let me load the GXF file. Now I can use the side-by-side -side functionality. For that I will need to shrink the player application a little bit. I can put them side-by-side -side and I can compare how these both videos do match. This is a functionality that is made to compare videos, for example, pre- and post-transcoding. In addition to that, I've got a media info functionality that gives me all the technical details about the clip that is currently being loaded. I can switch on the GPU acceleration with Intel QuickSync or NVIDIA GPUs. I can register the multi-format player in Windows to open files of a certain category. I can select whether by default when aspect ratio of the loaded file and the current setting of the player does not match whether it should letterbox or crop. And I can define that by default play files should be played automatically. That's the autoplay functionality. That was a run-through through our multi-format player application.
Thank you so much for attending and listening. See you soon again on our webpage, extrememedia.com.